So I like to farm and bring you guys the results of said farming. Today is no different as I bring you right now the results of 100 challenge tier 15 gold expedition runs how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe so the ultimate end game within outriders are those expeditions these are the places you eventually go to get which allow you to build the ultimate end game class now expeditions are a funny one and looking on the internet over the past weekend through my own experiences, although they drop legendaries way more often than any other source within the game, there is still a little bit of mystery behind these expeditions. And like I said over the past week, a drought has hit many people, including myself. Now these are a result of many runs over the past two weeks. I've just been recording these end clips and stockpiling them to look back at them. Playing in both a party and solo the results were really interesting too. Now I will state the expeditions I mainly run are Archways of Enoch as it's just the easiest to do solo, but others were thrown into the mix when playing in a party. So let's get into the loot results people. And Titanium from runs I got 8004, this obviously doesn't include any epics that have dismantled, so 8004 in total from the end of Expo Rewards. Blues in total rare items I got 1,107 which includes 644 weapons and 463 armor. For the weapons obviously I'm dismantling these because I just don't need to sell them anymore. I got 82,432 iron. For the armor I got 117,602 leather. Epics I got 552 from 100 runs. I was averaging roughly about 5 or 6 per run. And from dismantling these guys, I get a grand total of 60,162 titanium. Okay, so on to the juicy stuff. Legendaries. So I started off this run with abysmal results, I won't lie. Storming through these expeditions, I was averaging literally one legendary every four or five runs. Crazy thing is, doing this in a party, it was happening to the whole squad. We just weren't getting those legendaries. I did have the odd occasion of getting two drop, maybe one in 10 to 15 runs, but it just wasn't great overall. Now I changed a couple of things up and switched a few things around, and I think I've got a clue as what's happening here, but further testing is needed and that's a video for a different date. Now in a total of 100 challenge here 15 gold runs within those expeditions, I got a grand total of 48 legendaries now i know this doesn't sound bad at all in reality it isn't bad but like i said it just didn't start off good so 48 legendaries in a total of 100 expeditions people i mean you guys do the maths i also looked down and clocked up the amount of time these runs took me in total with cutscenes 100 gold challenge tier 15 runs took me 16 hours and 22 minutes and 43 seconds give or take as my maths ain't the greatest so in reality it took me 16 and a half hours to get a grand total of 48 legendaries which I believe is maybe just over 3 legendaries or so an hour. I mean in terms of efficiency I ain't sure this is the best but you also have to remember this is built on an RNG basis. There's a good chance that if I run 100 again which I plan to I could get double these legendary numbers. But yeah guys, there we have it, the results of 100 gold challenge tier 15 runs, 48 legendaries in total. Oh, and before I forget, I did have all the weapons I got, get one drop with over 99k firepower, and you're seeing that on screen now. But yeah guys, I do plan on running another 100, or maybe just round it off so I've got 100 of the doing these in a party and 100 solo, and compare them, as that's where I think the secret may be. So I've got a few more to run, so expect another video soon indeed. But yes, if you enjoyed this, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. And hopefully, I will see you on that next one.